Hello friends, my name is Vasim and I welcome you all to this channel Bank for You. So friends, in this video I will be discussing the no wrong number series questions which were asked in IBPS IRB Club 2018 examination that is in the preliminary examination and I have taken up the memory based questions from some internet sources. Okay, so this is day 8 and uh, I just think that this video will be definitely useful to you for the upcoming IBPS RRB PO clerk examination which are going to be held in the upcoming days. So before we begin, let me tell you, uh, when now, whenever you come across the question, you try to solve the question by yourself and continue watching the video. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead. So here's the first question, 100, 118, 136, 149, 160, 167, 172. See here friends, if you look at the differences here, the differences is not so drastic between uh, two consecutive numbers. So that is why I, I can certainly say that, so we just can solve it without, uh, you know, just by taking up the differences here. So what is the difference between 118 minus 100 is equal to plus 18. So 136 minus 118 is equal to again plus 18. So 149 minus 136 is equal to 13. So 160 minus 149 is equal to 11. So 167 minus 160 is equal to 7. 167 minus sorry 172 minus 167 is equal to plus 5. So see here friends, this is plus 5, 7, 11, 13, 18, 18. So if you look at the values here, this is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. So see, until here there are prime numbers. So 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, so 11 is a prime number, 13 is a prime number. But 18, so we cannot match up anything with this, okay. So see here, so for that reason, what can be done? So 5 is a prime number, 6 is a lot of prime number, 7 is a prime number, 8, 9, 10 are Composite numbers, 11 is a prime number, 12 is not a prime number, 13 is a prime number, 14 is a, fourteen is not prime, 15 is not prime, 16 is also not prime, 17, 17 is not is a prime number. So therefore, instead of taking up 18 here, we can take it up 17 here, okay, we can take it up 17 here. So 130, see, 172 minus 5 is 167, 167 minus 7 is 160. Uh, 160 minus 11 is 149, 149 minus 13 is equal to 136, 136 minus 118, okay, 136 minus 17, sorry, One, 136 minus 17 is, should be how much, 119, okay, it is 119, so this number had to be 119, so 119 minus 100, it had to be 19, why, because, so 18 is not a prime no number, so 19 is a prime number, so therefore, 119 minus 100 is equal to 19, so therefore our answer, the wrong number here is 118, so therefore option D is the answer here. Let's go to the second question of the day. So the second question here is 1.5, 2.5, 6.4, 100, 405, 3036. So for that reason, see, if you look at the values here, it is increasing very drastically. So that is why I can certainly say that this is a series of multiplication. So let me put the series once again here, so that you can, I can make you understand better, okay. So, 2400, 505 and 3036. So, see here friends, if you are going to take up the differences, it may not work. Okay. So, that is why what I am going to do here is, I am going to multiply, multiply, I am going to come from the last. Okay. 505. How can 500 be, 5 may be, be made as 3036. So, 505. So, uh, see, 505 plus 1. I am going to add 1 to this. This becomes 506. So, 506 into 6. So, 6 into 500 is 3000. So, 6 into 6 is 36. So, therefore, this can be take, taken as 3036. So, therefore, 505 plus 1, that is 506 into 6 is equal to 3036. So, how can, uh, you know, uh, 100 be made as 505? So, for that reason, I am going to add 1 to 100, that becomes 101 into 5. So, 101 into 5 is 505. So, this is correct. So, how can 24 be made as 100? I am going to add 1 to 24, that becomes 25. 25 into 4 is equal to 100. How can 24 be made as, sorry, 6, into, 6 be made as 24? So, for that reason, 6 into 4 is 24. But then, see, this is 6, this is 5, the, this is 4, and here some number which had to be multiplied with 3 here. Are you able to follow? So, we need to multiply a number with 3 here. So, whatever the value is here, that had to be multiplied. So, 7 into 3 is 21, but it is 24. That is not following. So, therefore, let us start from here. So, 1.5 plus 1 is 2.5 into 1 is equal to 2.5 plus 1, 2.5 into 1 is equal to 2.5. Okay. So, 2.5, 2.5 plus 1 is equal to 3.5. So, 3.5 into 2 because 1, 2. 
So then 4, 5, 6, here it has to be 3, right? So therefore, this number had to be 7. So let's check further. So 7 plus 1, that is equal to 8 into 3 is equal to 24. This follows. So therefore, a wrong number here is 6. So that had to be 7. So therefore, option B is the answer here. I hope you understood. Let's check out the next one here. So this one is very easy. So 160, 80, 80, 120, 240, 600, 900. So see here, so 160 into 0.5 is 80. So 80 into 1 is 80. Okay. So 160 into 0.5 is 80. 80 into 1 is 80 itself. So how can 80 be made, made as 120 for that reason? So we have to multiply with 1.5. 1, 1. So 80 into 1 is 80. So 80 into 0.5 is 40. 80 plus 40 is equal to 120. This follows. So how can 120 be made as 240? So if you are going to multiply 120 with 2, so this becomes 240. So how can 240 be made as 600? So 2.5. So 240 into 2 is 480. 2, 240 into 0 0.5 is 120. 480 plus 120 is equal to 600. So now we have to convert 600 with C. This is 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. The next number has to be 3. So 600 into 3 is 1800, but this number is 900. That is wrong. So therefore, our answer has to be option D in this case. So let's check out the next question here. So 5040, 2520, 840, 210, 42, 8, 1. So see here, how 5040 be converted as 2520? If you look at this number, this is almost double of the earlier one. Okay. So 5040 divided by 2 is equal to, so 25 and 20. So this is correct. How can 2, 2520 be made as 840? See, it is 800 into 3 times is 2400. So but it is 2520 because 40 is here. So let us divide it by 3. So 2520 divided by 3 is equal to, so 3 into 8 is 24, 1 is carried forward, so 3 into 4 is 12, 0, so 840, this is correct. So how can 840 be made as 210? So 840, this is 2, 3, the next one has to be 4. So 4 into 2 is 8, 4 into 1 is 4, 0, this is 4, 210. So how can 210 be made as 42? So see here, this is 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 into 4 is 20, 5 into 2 is 10, this is 42, so this is correct. How can 42 be made as 8? So, 42 divided by 6. So, 42 divided by 6 is how much? 7. But it is 8 here. This is wrong. Okay. So, if we divide it again, see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the next one is 7, right? 7 by 7 is equal to 1. This is absolutely correct. But then, here, it is how, it had to be how much? 7. So, that is the wrong one which is given here. So, therefore, our answer has to be option A, that is 8. Let's go to the last question of the day here. So 15, 17, 26, 151, 200, 929,050. So the value increased drastically, then norm, I mean, a uh, very less number. So we cannot come to a conclusion here. So that is why what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, take up the differences first. Okay. So only we have to solve with the differences here. Otherwise, we may not be able to get the answer here. Okay. So let us take out the differences here. So 1050. See, firstly, we shall take up the differences from the beginning itself. Okay, all right. So 50, 17 minus 15 is equal to 2. So 26 minus 17 is equal to 9. So 151 minus 21, that is equal to, see, 125. So 125, okay, this is 125, all right. 200 minus 151 is equal to 49. So 921 minus 200 is equal to 729. 1050 minus uh, 929, that is 71 plus 50, that is 121. So see here, friends. So if you look at the values, so this is a perfect square, perfect cube, perfect square, perfect cube and perfect square. So this can be taken as 3 cube, three square. So this is 5 cube, this is 7 square, 729 is 9 cube, 121 is 11 square. So see alternatively square and cubes are going here. Square cube, square cube, square, this had to be cube. So this is 11, 9, these are the odd numbers. 11 minus 2 is 9, 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 minus 2 is 5, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 2 should be 1. So this is square, cube, square, cube, square, this had to be cube. 1 cube is nothing but 1 itself. So therefore, so 1050 minus 121, 929, 921 minus 729 is 200, 200 minus 49 is 151, 151 minus 125 is 26, 26 minus 9 is 17, 17. This had to be how much? 1. 17 minus 1 had to be 16, but it is 15 here, so therefore this is wrong. So therefore, our answer had to be 15, that is option C.
I hope you understood. So friends, uh, this is very easy one. If you practice it, it is uh, very doable. Practice well so that you can do well in the actual exam. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead. So before ending of this session, I request you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with your friends. And if you have any doubts, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.